some defense forces. Excellence matters. What have you done? How dare you! Help me, Lord Captain. Warn I won't go down. Someone deliberately scrapped the symbols of the handle. Game bugged out like crazy. Victory awaits. The Q is 13, they see Vox Cast. Check succeeds. Oh, fast, the star allies are with us. I got man. You've got a problem, I've got a price. How dare you? Score the pain. Operation successful. Mention of a doomsday weapon. Sword of Onslaught. access to the archives. Fucking earth is this map? Oh, well. 
Would that shit? Will it stop? It stopped, did it? No, it did not. Didn't even know what he Vengeance will be swift. And what's this? Cogitator panel has dozens of breakers, buttons, handles, switches, and other control mechanisms. Request status of the bunker's life support system. Water supply failed. Temperature okay, that's the same as on the previous one. Backup generator for net oxygen supply disabled. Automatic defense. Activate emergency air filters. System check, processing into data, confirmed, processor launching progress, pressure levels nominal. Success, putting press, success, success, activate. With your permission, I will extract the command blocks of this noble machine to hold a vigil for his deceased spirit. The Omnissiah preserves the faithful. And what were the other options? I'm curious what's happening, man. I don't get it. And where are the enemies on this map? Something. I won't go down easy. How come it's this? Activate automated defenses. Insufficient power. And that's about it. It's about time. At least no more damage. I guess they were supposed to melt and to rush for the chamber. With a limited amount of time or something. I don't know how else to understand this. Trap or treasure? Victory awaits. Damn it. I mean, just bad luck. The coat of what dynasty? Winter scale. None shall stand in my way. Three hundred and forty-eight years ago, our ancestors arrived on this blooming world, built the cities and the manufacturums and founded here a society free from heresy and fear. But the immortal emperor of humanity, warden of light, saw fit to test our fate. A great war tore open a rift between our ancestors, dividing them into two factions and turning the world into a boundless battlefield. Each day we fought the enemy so that our children could see the dawn of a new era. An era without blood, pain and tears. Brave people living and dead, paved with their bodies the road to our future. And one day the skies answered our prayers. The great star, allies descending from the darkness of the cosmos, and bestowed upon our great army the doomsday weapon. And so he brought righteous anger upon our foes and ended the centuries-long war and welcomed the dawn of the new era. The universe will hardly notice our deed, but the God Emperor sees all. We, children of a great nation, must decide ourselves to this sacred mission to survive and revivify the world, as the most beautiful flowers are revivified from ashes, and hence do not despair, sons and daughters of the Imperium, for our star allies are behind us and the God of humanity is with us. I know that the help is coming and soon the skies overhead will shine once more. What star allies? I'll lay claim to the stars. Peace buddies. Weakness. 
one minute. I need to take a piss. I'll be right back.
Yay, Mr. Hello. Colera wiped out half of our people, including the old bookkeeper, Hilgar. Time stood still for us since it was so long ago, and what a convenient solution to the overpopulation problem. Commander stick with both these coincidence, morons. Still, when I look in the mirror, I see my father the same wrinkles by the eyes, great temples. Which means I'm over 60. No sky, no sun, no joy, no hope. We were certain we won. The weapon of a great ally boggled the mind. Still remember how the skies shook. The stars respond to our calls with silence. So they were in a bunker, first a purifier failure, then a fire in the Medicaid. The rats shoot holes in the exposure suits and now we can't go up the surface anymore. Or we had a saboteur in our midst all these years. They had supplies for 50 years. The air supply failed, and they all died. A new challenge for me. Vox with winter scale emblem. Entry C, it's been a hundred cycles and these idiots are still none the wiser about what they saved from the storm. Going back to my camp is no longer an option, them rats shoot through the protective suit and these pistons are out of repair materials. No, this is entry... 100, what? No, this is entry 50. Entry 54. There are some decent people, just civilians like my mother. This one girl, Zimi, even made a happy coming by in after hours. Asked me to teach her letters, blah blah blah. And my sympath... Uh, they had someone inside. Am I sympathizing with the enemy? Entry 150 was finally allowed entry to the upper levels. And lo and behold, what did I find there? The same supply crates as those gifted to our lords by the Star Allies. Same rations we've been eating, the same weapons we've been fighting with, so our lives have simply been toyed with. No time now. Shockwave, thanks for the follow. If Winterscale has betrayed us, I must report this to the command, no matter the cost. I got my hands on a cutter and decommissioned a few blocks of explosives, no one noticed a thing. Bribe the Archivist, okay. All I need is schematics for the life support system, Red's brought disease from the surface, the Medicaid unique is packed. Zivik drank the poison water, vomited a lot of blood, schematics were inaccurate, but now I know for certain which pipes go to the living module, which to the barracks, the senior comm officer suspects something, it's time. They had someone inside, he killed them all. 
some of the emergency stairs and try to conceal the damage. Victory awaits. Elevator shaft collapsed. Reaching the lower levels at this point would require sending a mining team. It's about time. A huge map. That's all. The automated systems. See <sighs> I'm so fucking dead. You can't reposition, man. We are in the open. I know that. what I'm doing. Usually. I can do that with the right. Zero damage. Am I getting paid for this? Tell me, and it is done. I move swiftly to strike. I am not your zenith, Pat Monkey. If it serves your cause. Prepare for this fucking game, man. Again, the freaking damage here. Oh my god, how on earth am I supposed to pass through this? Don't do a sh thing against mechanic. Solid. There you go. That's a thing. Monkey. 
I am a navigator, not a servitor. Yeah, I'm still not. Everyone, step aside. Let's see to it. For the throne's glory. Natural. Curse you, miscreant! I shall not fear! of adversity. Not a problem for me. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Suits my purposes. I am not your zero pet, monkey. This tedium is beneath me. Lord Captain, I approach the designated position. If I may. Get me a target. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. But of course, no, Captain. Someone's death wish is mine to grant. I need a foothold. For the throne's wish. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. See how they respond to this. Already done. But of course. Suits my purpose. I'm a member. I won't go down. I won't tolerate weakness. <laughs> I'll live another day. Deactivate automated defense systems. 
Open system failure. A new challenge for me. You don't frighten me. Stop, will you? I don't know if I missed something, I have a feeling like I did. I don't know. Scan. We got Forgotten Twins, then the Platinum Stelos, and then we're back to Furibundus. And I can visit the Imperium also. And what are the... What are the green things now here? The fuck is this? Is it orders? What is this now? It doesn't show when I hover. I don't know what. First time I see this. It's where I have colonies. I think it's that. I have two colonies. Janus and Faust. No. Faustone is... Is here. It's not a colonies. Fuck is this? Isn't that curious now. Chart the course. Travel. We'll see what it is. It's the crash. Curiosity killed the cat. How's the game? Interesting, okay. It's very interesting. Even in this state. It needs improvements in absolutely every area there is, but... I can't say that, that it's not good. It is. It, it can be a, an amazing game. That's for sure. The only amazing thing so far, aside from capturing the world of Warhammer, is music. Yo, don't crash. Yep. That's the colony, man. It's easily the colony. That green sign on the map. Now, why is it here? I provided food for them. But... 
what? It means that I can upgrade. It could be that. I just don't know. Leveled up. What we do? We got ten navigator points and forgotten twins. Let's let's level up. We got ability. I got Bulwark Stratagem. The lights receive rate of fire. Ballistic skill is reduced by 20. Petty. Increase incoming damage from the side on the enemy. Yeah, let's go. Except. Deal with the awareness. Range weapons deal plus two additional damage against the targets in a radius of three cells up close and personal. What are you doing? I mean, she is a psyker. We give her focus mind. I 
they need better explanations for these skills. They really need better explanations on how it actually works. Close and personal. Up close and personal. State your intention. You interrupted my thoughts. What is it? Wait. We with a soft spot over penetration. She's a sniper after all. Pascal. Also, what I would uh, like to add, uh, six, once you are on a ship, this line should be from here to here. Depends on how many companions you got, it should widen so you can see them all up there once you're in a base on a ship instead of six they made it rotate there is easily enough spot It will not die, I think, on on Pascal. Extra hit points. It is solid enough. VZ eleven fifty one. Nice. Mm, bulwark. Strength, toughness, willpower, and fellowship. We go with toughness. Thirty seven hit points. The icon's final, I doubt. Nothing is final. As far as I understood the developers, nothing is final. The only final thing is music. Probably companion portraits. Those things will remain. In-game models, they might change. Depends what I plan to do, but nothing is final.
warp. The clan servicing the cooling systems he reported an incident of sorcery. The shadows in the cabins and corridors are coming to life. The voidsmen say they see strange writing things lurk in nukes and crannies at the edge of their vision. If they look away, the things spread over the room, gnawing on everything in their path and attacking the weak and infirm. The strange creatures cannot be caught. It is almost as if they sense they are being washed and sink into the many cracks between the machines and bulkheads. Order that the monsters be banished with faith and prayer. Order that the decks be purified with fire. We go with faith and prayer. The Ecclesiarchy mission on board the Void Ship holds sermons in every corner of the haunted chamber. The many voice chants and holy rituals manifested their power, the demons skulking in the cracks vanished without a trace. The crew was cheered and they praised the God Emperor for his protection. 87 XP flat. Scan. Cradle of Capri. Platinum Stellos after that. Then the Imperium and then the Furibuntus. Bloody hell with this fucking map. Now, I wonder one thing. This is in 25 hours. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23 sectors to visit. 23 sectors to visit. And around 23 here, and around 30 plus over here, 30 plus over there. 30 and 30 here. We're gonna have 150, if not even 200 sectors to visit. On a full release. Jesus Christ, man. Five or six, I don't know, that then the DLCs and everything that comes along with it. No one knows, not even developers know, I guess. No. Holy shit, there are two stars. It's easily two stars. Forgotten twins, makes sense. Cogitator screen <clears throat> move is highlighting the shapes of several buildings. A small settlement, the only one on the planet, is Winter Scale Dynasty Outpost. Visit the outpost. The lengthy descent and the landing reward you with a dismal sight. The entire outpost consists of long columns of uniform bunkhouses. Machine hangers and a large headquarters building tough with a massive antenna of an ancient box caster. The binary suns hanging in the sky make every object cast two shadows, a spectacle you find vaguely disturbing. The custodian and his people go out of their way to give the esteemed guest a proper reception, but the resources are at best cars. Talk to custodian. The warden shares alarming news. The outpost is highly dependent on various deliveries from the core winter scale worlds, but two ships have already failed to arrive on schedule. Locals do not have an astropod of their own, so the custodian cannot find a out the cause of the delays or request aid. Custodian sends a request for resources the outpost desperately needs. He's begging you for help, offering what little his settlement has in exchange. Full cargo required, none. Supply the outpost with the resources it needs. Agree to help in the future should you have any necessary resources leave the planet. Full cargo required, none. Custodian showers you with gratitude and hurries to send gifts in return. The formerly grim and worried faces of his men light up with relief. The return journey treats you to a rare and unexpected spectacle. As eclipse begins as one of the two local suns covers the other. You watch as the temperature drops, the lightning changes, the double shadow vanish and two discs in the sky merge to create a shimmering oval at first and then become one. Eventually, the fantastic event passes, leaving behind a vivid memory. Planet 
durch. So we can indicate that these are the remnants of the Imperial world. Sorry, sight. Gear giant. The crew were treated to truly impressive sight, a colossal storm on the gas giant surface. The planet's dimensions in themselves were mind-boggling, and then it birthed the tempest, the storm to end all storms. As the Lord Captain and his officer observed it from a safe distance through the bridge's huge viewing windows, someone suggested giving it a name, the Emperor's Rat, garnered the most votes. Some in the crew believed the storm to be an omen. We can only hope it's an omen of great things to come. Dead world. See a rock over there also. What fifty? Nothing. Cradle of Capri. Dangerous route. I'll give it a shot. Another L today aboard the void ship has come to an end. The Lord Captain, having given his final orders for the day, retired to his chambers for some divine rest. However, the rogue trader slumber was disturbed by horrific nightmares plaguing his mind. Fate wrenched the Lord Captain out of the clutches of these agonizing warp dreams. Only for him to witness the nightmares seeping through his flimsy membrane of the Geller field and taking physical shape in a ship's sanctum sanctorum to battle. Fucking ambush. Yeah, oh, and it's this one. No, no, no. no. I'm not strong enough for this account. We're gonna reduce the difficulty here. Travel now. The ship left the hostile materium and returned to the real space. Yo. First, we go to the destroyed ship. Scario. Archaeotech mechanism pregnant. Surviving piece of an architect mechanism of unknown purpose discovered in an ancient imperial vessel in the cradle of Capri. I don't have, I don't have mechanisms. I got everything else. Where is 65? Provisions. Now should we upgrade something on this colonies, man?
Do I need to visit them to upgrade? I don't get it. I mean, not that it matters right now. I don't see an upgrade button. Begin. Prometheum. We can land on an icy planet. That looks different than usual. Distress zone. It's about time. A new challenge for me. The skeletons are lying in a strange position, as if one was either carrying or hugging the other and did not let go even in death. Their gear is badly damaged and decayed. Carefully inspect the skeletons and their gear. There are three things worthy of note. Fragments of some sort of devices that those skeletons carried on their belts, some shiny trinkets in the remains of the carried skeleton's bag, and an old portable cogitator in the other's bag. Examine the broken device. Pieces of a broken text suggest that it was a rudimentary radar jammer. Commonly used by pirates. Examine the trinkets. Clearly, Zemus origin. Michelle and Stein warned items have no particular value. Use tech. Extract data. We extracted a fragment of a wax recording. We are rich, chaos, take me rich. Fly for crying out loud, spit it out what you found. The rich screw footfall. Coronas can go to the orcs. We are of here, Calixis, here we come. Because without Ecker, Calixis is definitely the place to go. What makes you think life is better there anyway? I want a house on some planet and mansion with a lion statue at the entrance. It will have a servitor with one job, dusting my lion statue. <laughs> Why, you idiot, you're still on a dangerous planet. Quit sending me your hollering. Get back here, just tell me what you found. Why? Why, you coming? Coming for you, dumbass. If not, you respond with just to mess with me. You're dead me. None shall stand in my way. Tree awaits. The Inquisition taught me many things, naturally. Must be my smuggler's instincts. Okay, tech priest skeleton. The leg was hacked. Covered next to his dead master until his battery ran down. Sir was called. Follow my lead. Well, now we got Russian. We 
Jeez, I need a transmit. I'll lay claim to the stars. I'm seeing a slur. Operation successful. Eldar. Searching is my observance. Suspicious snowdrift. Mechanism hidden beneath the fake snowdrift. You were not able to reach it, but it seems you managed to pour it out of action. It's about time. None shall stand in my way. That's the map, by the way. Something's gonna spawn on our head here. Trap or treasure? Your mechanism hidden behind the fake snowdrift. A new challenge for me. What on fucking earth? With his missus. Step aside. The navigator is coming. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. This tedium is beneath me. She doesn't have a weapon she bugged out. She's not even holding a weapon. A job for the serfs. If I may, I am a navigator, not a servitor. Scorn the pain. But of course, Lord Captain. 
I won't object to it. For the throne's glory. Your zinc fat monkey. <sighs> if I must. Not a problem for me. I am not your zinc fat monkey. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. If I may. Isn't this a job for the serfs? If it serves your cause. Front. What the fuck do you trigger a trap? What are you doing, you bitch? I never told you to go up. is for the weak. I align my path with yours. Let's make a deal. My 
Don't tolerate weakness. My pleasure. Elder roots. Xenotrops. Some Xenotroph. Victory awaits. That's it. That's it. It's about time. Easily done. A new challenge for me? You can only upgrade when you're on a planet. It should be available everywhere. Dari, yeah, is a sniper. She deals the most right now. Uh, also, it's not only her, it's Pascal. Right. Pascal has a lot of tricks. And he's more useful also outside of combat because of skill checks. Pascal is the best companion. Not Eldari, Pascal. Pessor, if you are a huge CRPG fan, I see no reason why not to play this on a full release, it's gonna be a brilliant game. Even if you dislike Warhammer, it's still gonna be a great game. Expect Diablo 4 to be without microtransactions? Don't get your hopes way too high for Diablo 4. 
That's Blizzard. It's not Blizzard North. like sci-fi CRPGs, what are the sci-fi CRPGs? They are cyberpunk CRPGs. What's the sci-fi CRPG? Does it even exist? There's post-apocalyptic, there's cyberpunk CRPGs. But I never played a sci-fi. Listen, even though you think how Warhammer is sci-fi, it ain't pure sci-fi, okay? It ain't pure sci-fi. I don't count Star Wars as... All of that Hollywood crap... I just dislike everything that comes out from Hollywood, from Star Wars to to those superheroes, Marvel, DC, everything that goes with it. I can't fucking stand it. That's exactly what you said, Professor. I also prefer those cool CRPGs, fantasy, mostly. But this is mixed fantasy with sci-fi. That's why it's cool. Now we go to Platinum Stellas. Discovered in one of the smaller ruts in Engine Hall 5, which should have been filled with wastewater, instead contained liquid that looked like blood. The incident was deemed not to be serious concern, and everything went back to normal as soon as the ship returned to real space. You did you? An identified Imperial Void ship. Unknown ship hails you as soon as you're in detection range. The ship, the Scarlet Pursuer, helmed by Captain Demir Shanshi, his footfall list is its home port. The message hints transparently at a connection with the Kazbali Commission. The Vox Master adds that the captain has a proposal for you. Listen. The ship lets you know they'll be happy to reward you for any information on burning worlds in the Coronist Expanse. Why are they looking for the burning worlds? <laughs> Reply is cautious as it's vague. The captain cities a researcher interested in his understudied type of world. Upon hearing the message, Magus Pascal expresses a keen interest in burning worlds and asks the Lord Captain to take that issue into consideration. Jaya Hidari immediately voices her strong disbelief that Captain Demir would even dash about the void in pursuit of researcher interest but rather only for a good profit, which suggests that the Lord Captain too might want to look into these burning worlds. Seneschal Varsarian makes no comment regarding the Kasvalika message, but is amazed that for once the esteemed Magus and Mrs. Heidari are in passionate agreement on something. 
share the information you got, let them know you have no current information on burning worlds but are willing to sell any you may obtain in the future. Refuse to supply information on burning worlds and move on. Attack and plunder the void ship. Let them know you have no current information. You receive the Scarlet Pursuer projected itinerary information system. Uh, the captain will be happy to meet you again and get information on burning worlds should you have it. Give it to the dead world. I found some burning worlds. Dead world. Nothing. Grant this. There might be a landing here. time I was here, three of the planet's battles put the price on my head. No landing, nothing. Nothing. Warp. Man, the fuck. It doesn't connect to the Imperium. And there's a red line. I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck and there's red lines everywhere. Well, this is why you have navigator points. What we gotta do? We're gonna charge the course for... Oof. Spawn, Frozen Prince, what, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus Imperium, 10 places left to visit. Let me try like this. Let me see the Imperium. Man, this cost five warp. Five. Raver on the line. The astrophots are going crazy in their little chamber. They're reporting severe warp disturbances along our intended route. It looks like the Ma is completely impassable. I've seen this before. And if you ask me, going there is not a good idea for us or any other void ship. So you're saying that not only I will break through the Ma to the Imperium, but I will cover myself in glory as the conqueror of the Raging Warp. Forward! I'll see to it. Prostor Coronus! Uribundus Mesto Zapisi Pumpo Memorial Chronica Warp Expedition Squozem Komplirovano Pomoshnik Armufex, Karmografas, Uplon Primix, 
by the grace of the Emperor, I've been charged with the chronicling the voyage that my blessed commander, Lord Captain Rogue Trader, intends to undertake through the turbid tract of the warp known as the Ma. The thought of what lies ahead fills our souls with terror, but we all have faith in the light of the Emperor. May his protection be with us now. Charted course for expedition, message from Astrophetic Core. With that, We once again draw your attention to the fact that the warp region of the Ma is more turbulent than usual. The Diviner's Vigil portends death for us, and much worse besides. This is not our first decade perceiving the void and we have seen terrible storms, but unlike this, we beseech you please have mercy on us. If that be not your will, we stand ready to serve until the end. Charge the course. Report from Navigator's Sanctum, Lord Captain will lock them to the blessed light of the Astronomicon. Psychic beacon which helps navigators to triangulate the course for their voice ships through the war space and are ready to make our first warp jump to the Hermitage. Once in the void station orbit, we will carry out maintenance liturgies and with luck exchange information with other trade void ships that are using the region as a rendezvous point. A second warp jump will be made to the witch cursed world, a foul and lifeless planet at which point we will assess the state of the vessel. A third warp jump is planned to port Bender, where the protector willing we will reach the vast expanse of the Imperium and we will abide there in safety. After offering up the requisite prayers, the crew received a wax address from the blessed Lord Captain in which our commander gave the order to initiate the crossings to Hermitage. Announced that the expedition was abandoned. Gave the order. We made it to the Hermitage, an outcome made possibly solely by the Emperor's mercy. The ship has been chewed up by the Ravenous Immaterium, and madness has taken root across our decks and stalks among us, staring us in the eyes. The vessel is in orbit around the station, thronged by thousands of silent satellites. Medicaid checks succeeded. I spent the entire passage in the murky depths of the Astropathic Coar section, where acolytes of the ship surgeon walked back and forth in silence after singing the healing liturgy from beginning to end. They marched among the psychers, who had been medicated into unconsciousness, and if psyker, who awoke up and with howls of horror, was quickly pacified with a sharp jab from an electrified baton. But my attention was wholly captured by Diratlas, gripping the shoulders of each astrophat in turn and staring into their eyes, she compelled the raving psychers to collapse with a visceral cry. Curling up on the deck with all thought of resistance gone from their mind, how many did she save, how many would have perished without her? Every moment now I hear a voice full of vehement ire. It's the voice of the angel of the emperor. It's so ferocious my very blood fears it. Fleeing my body through my ears, eyes and nose, the angel bade me compile a picked chronicle of the horrors recorded by the servo skulls in the ship's base. May whoever finds it know the torments we suffered before death. Incident Report I saw the picked recordings made on various decks with my own eyes. With horror and avid curiosity, I relished each bloody detail, drinking in a stream of chaotic, incomprehensible scenes. Nameless dread blossomed in my soul. I saw a bloody massacre in the Engineerium, people armed with tools bashing each other's heads in. I saw a deck full of violently convulsing bodies covered in a layer of mold and sprouting grotesque fungi. I witnessed a crowd of crew members walk toward an opening airlock with mindless, exultant smiles on their faces and be caught a moment later on a wave of air and wrenched out in the cold embrace of nothingness. With my own eyes I saw a gunner steadily hitting a large caliber shell with a wrench and inside a cogitator I could just make out the bloody remains of engine seer, impossibly squeezed in among the tangled wires. So much horror, so little hope. Engineers report. Engine seer deck. My lord, it grieves me to report the demise of 27.61% of the blessed machine spirits entrusted to my care. The reactors 2 and 3 required expedited burials, and the deck's crew held a vigil in their memory. The servitors have logged at least 11 breaches in the hull exterior, and at least 3 in the hull interior. With my lord's gracious permission, I will endeavor to save what can still be saved. The only scion knows all, comprehends all. Uh, how I see this, this is probably the end of the entire map. 
And if you wanna pass through this point, I guess you need to upgrade your ship to the maximum. Or better to say, to discover everything there is in Coronus Expanse, make your flagship strong enough, and then you can pass towards the Imperium. Hermitage Station Situation Report. Scouting Expedition Report. I don't know why they haven't gone crazy yet sitting in the middle of this warp storm. There are around a thousand people there, a few hundred outcasts, and an anchorites living permanently on the station and the crew of a trading vessel that barely made it as far as the Hermitage and won't be departing ever again. It seems they spent whole days sitting under their crystal dome praying, eating ration packs and watching as reality loses its mind. They say the Emperor will protect them against the coming Tempest. Of course they do. He's the only thing they can trust in now. For them there is nowhere else to turn. We offered them passage on our ship, not once said yes. Mad, all of them. When the message came through the Voxnet, I struggled to hear it over the whispering of the angel in my ears. My honorable lord gave the order to make the war jump to the witch-cursed world. We are the witch-cursed world, the place where we are doomed to perish. That is what the emperor's angel told me, his voice almost impossible to bear. It made me record every drop of sorrow my chronicle will spread his word through the warp and sow terror in all who come to know our dire voyage. So speaks the angel, and my own thoughts are so muddled that I can only do now is submit and bear witness. As soon as the ship exited the warp, thousands of crew members assembled into teams, launched into repairing the major areas of damage, the will of our fearless Lord Captain drove them, and in that moment I deeply envied their resolve. The Lord Captain's honorable companion Heinrichs von Kellogg's person who led the ship's hands to the most seriously damaged decks. First, he admonished the cowardly crew members who refused to their duty, and then he banished the fear from their hearts with a single shot. Verily, the man mercy is great indeed. I left the Astropatric Coar section and spent the jump in the Navigator's Sanctum. Though the number of casualties was high there, many managed to survive, including me. Furthermore, when the malevolent tentacles of the war preached into our souls, and a bloody inscription is an unholy language began to appear on the bulkhead, the Emperor granted me the blessing of bearing witness to a miracle. Sister Argenta, entirely undaunted, marched up to the bulkhead and raised the words with a fearless swipe of her hand. She turned to us with a smile and said, It's only blood, do not fear the Imperium, for its nightmares are nothing before the Emperor's light. In that moment I had faith that all was not yet lost. Today I believe I was mistaken, the losses and damage are enormous. They say there was a mutiny. The Drive Master reports that odds of surviving another jump forward are zero. The odds of successful jump backward are also zero. But the second zero is slightly less definitive. Internal systems are failing. Cogitators are experiencing periodic failure. Stop, I'm afraid. Duress, failure, failure. Which cursed world situation report? Must not make planet fall. I know what I saw, and no, we must not set down on that planet. It is not because the wind could tear the hull of the landing shuttle in the blink of an eye, or because the temperature on the surface fluctuates between red hot plasma and absolute zero. It's because planets do not have faces, but this one did. A vast face of jagged plateaus, eyes of fiery tornadoes, and a mouth made from a crater half of continent across. And I saw the face smiling at me. It saw me, it saw all of us. We must not make planet fall. Emperor, have mercy on us. Addendum. Engine Seer Avlir was executed four hours after submitting this report for fomenting panic among the crew. Incidental report. The pic chronicle recorded by the eyes of the servo skulls made my heart stutter in horror. I watched as a crewman who seemed perfectly healthy struggled against the shackles spinning him to an operating table, and a group of doctors whispering excitedly among themselves drew out their steel surgical instruments and eagerly began cutting into his flesh. I cried out as I watched engine seers burning holy incense and chanting the prayer to waken the plasma generator machine spirit. A young acolyte his heart wavering accidentally disrupted the liturgy, releasing the motive force into the power circuit before it was time, and my poor eyes were blinded by the white light of the explosion. After that, I was silent, for that was the only way I could continue to watch. 
Ectomites in dirty coveralls are eventually poured chalices of blood onto the base of a macabre tree. A weapon pointed upward, it supports outspread like branches, and hanging from them like ripe fruit were the bodies of the section's officers. After tossing aside his discharged lace gun, a priest brought his fingers to his bleeding ears and then <clears throat> doubt these crimson words on the bulkhead. Don't listen to him, he is no angel. Who was he talking to me? Scarlet roses, their buds bleeding, were growing through the bulkheads, which were covered with patches of rot. Crew members in black uniforms incinerated them with flamethrowers, whipping black tears and roaring with maniacal laughter. A string of people silently entered an airlock, above which was written Hangar C-11-2 and were lost in the darkness. As a deputy card to artifacts, I know the ship layout well. There has never been a Hangar C-11-2. The unknown has touched our vessel, it has taken root in it and now we're on the clutches of the Materium. Navigational forecast. Lord Captain, the crew of the Navigator sent and have virtually lost the light of Astronometer. Only hope to retrace terrors, both in our thoughts and in our pain. Save us or lead us to our deaths, we will follow you no matter what, report from ship's confessor. The rousing speech from the Lord Captain, which was broadcast over the WAC system, inspired the crew, who promptly broke into teams to repair the primary systems. The volunteers all departed, or later lauded in prayer. Over the static and the howling of the unholy warp spirits that had infiltrated our WAC system, we heard the voice of our Lord Captain, who ordered us to make the warp jump to Port Vendor. Prepare to make a war jump to the Hermitage, Port Vendor. The senior officers from all decks gave a general report to my blessed Lord Captain. According to the assessments of all the ship services, the chances of a favorable outcome of a jump to Port Vendor were zero. On behalf of the entire crew, they declared that serving under our glorious commander had been an honor. And if it was his will, they were ready to forge onward and meet their deaths. Glory to the house of Valancius and its valiant servants. We were all prepared to die the very hour and then the Lord Captain bade us. Praise the Emperor for we are going home. Lord Captain, a war jump to the Hermitage cannot be calculated. We cannot detect its shadow within the sacred radiance of the Astronomicon. The warp storms are obstructing everything. We think our only chance is to make a longer jump to footfall. Our chances of survival are low, but not non-existent. Emperor, preserve us. Our path became clear. Footfall was our destination. We gained 75 XP. 7 XP, not. The warp jump is complete. We're still ourselves and we're alive, although only a tenth of those who set out on this expedition remain. But we seen everything and know nothing can dent the crew's spirit. I cannot say the same for my own. Holding tighter to their fate, the crew members responded as one of the harsh voice of Illustrious Lord Captain <clears throat> and rushed to save what remained of the vessel. Honorable Abelard Versarian, with no regard for his infinitely high status as a close servant of the Lord Captain, personally set up for the weapon base to oversee the firefighting efforts. Displaying the valor and wisdom interesting to true nobles of the Imperium, he defeated the ravenous flames and saved the port side from the serious damage that could have been caused had the large caliber shells exploded. The angel no longer speaks to me and a strange emptiness has settled within my soul, carrying this deficiency inside me is unbearable. Here ends my chronicle and my duty has been fulfilled. I will append a report about the sorry state of the ship after I go to the engine seers to request voluntary story station the Emperor protects ship status report Warp is sly and CDS beast Lord Captain we already to acknowledge that now it was pleased that we admitted our defeat this is why it let us come back and we believe there can be only one reason for that and even worse fate awaits us here crew loss is 87% due to death of the acting trans mechanic on the engine seer deck I'm reporting that the damage to the ship is widespread and all encompassing we are running diagnostics now. Thanks to the ship's confessor reading extracts from the code of punishment over the WAC system, the emergency repairs were completed much sooner, and the ship's critical notes saved. Report on crew. Morale. 
We're voidsmen, sir. We know we will die long before we ever get a chance to soil ourselves in our sick bed. We know our trade, we conquer the void, discover stars, shipwright, and plunder forgotten planets. And we die, we die in ways so horrible that most people can't even imagine such a death. We've gone to a place others fear to even think about, and we come back from there along with our Lord Captain. Next time the warp tries to play its games, we'll tell it. What else do you have to throw at us? Reactorium incident. I will be willing to swear the generator's six power circuit units was switched off when we began the warp jump. The cracks in the case in the enclosure was damaged. We would never start up the piece of junk it would have blown in seconds. And I have no idea how it switched itself on. No one from the team touched it. When the light generator failed, the energy supply should have been cut off. But number six continued to run. It dragged the salon for 18 minutes, even though it should have exploded after 18 milliseconds. I don't know how that happened, the Emperor protects. What have I just seen, man? The entire ship is smoking. A report from the aftermath of the events in Depot 4, which are ah, okay, Depot 4. No time for this. What is happening? I'm dead curious. And what if I want to go this again? Let someone less valuable deal with the moth. <laughs> it doesn't allow it, yeah. And what if you pick to die? Can you die? Imperium. Uh, my guess, you are supposed to end here. But you need full ship upgrades. We ain't gonna see this till the full game is out. Forward. This was extremely well done. And bloody like. Really, really good. Huddle next to Voxcaster, I first deputy card to artifact civilian Primex scream into it, hoping that my voice will be by some miracle breakthrough to turbulent the piss of the immaterium into the real world. The Vox Master is dead, virtually everyone is dead, and I, disregarding the sacred Vox system protocol, scream my dispatch over and over. All Imperial vessels help, we're dying, dying. Stop, I'm afraid. Here ends the Chronicle, which was discovered in the ruins of a ship expelled from the world. Party has been defeated. Till the ship is... a hundred percent ready. With all companions, probably, and with everyone on board. You cannot pass through here. Even when the full game is out. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be a great game. A really, really a great game. I got no doubt. Chart! 
the course to Furibundus or not. God damn it, I don't know where to go and I don't know what to do. Let's go to the Frozen Prince. Charge the course. Move. To battle. Ambush. Does it have ship versus ship combat? Yeah, it does. It does. Much from the Emperor's palm. You're facing several Eldari scout ships. The Xenos are in no hurry to attack, and time seems to have slowed down. One of movement and carnage may ensue. Ask Kirill to help you negotiate. Yeah. Kirillet's speech is met with a torrent of Eldari abuse that is too much for even the Lord Captain Ludicate. Xenos accused her of betraying her kind by conspiring with the monkeys. And cut the connection. Yet the ships are no longer blocking the way. Well, there's nothing here. Only 7 XP, basically one mining spot. See the frozen prince. Christ, and I got two mobile extracticums left. Need to buy at least 20.
I wanna see what I'll discover up here also. I can't freaking believe how huge the game is. Unbelievable, man. Unbe Holy shit, they're shitting me. That's a lot for early alpha. Really a lot. straight ahead. We reach the home world of House One Valencius. The Elder Gonas, the rogue trader, is coming home. Make planet fall on Dragonus. We find Dragonus, so That will be our base. One Valencia's palace. Thanks for the follow. Holy shit, it's bugged. What's camera doing to me? Ah, they're all okay. tolerate weakness. in my way. Where's Theodora won the lance? They don't know that Theodora's dead. Shaversarian. I wouldn't trigger this yet, okay? Just to see it first. That's the home base. From Dragons. Von Valencia's Palace. Main throne room. So on and so forth.
Dynasty Pro. Wanna spoil anymore? I'm not supposed to be here, baby. Mundus Valencius. Should we go back to Fury Bundus? The red lines are everywhere. Yes. I should try going to Nola Septima. I don't know with that Fury Bundus got that. Completed development project. Bring Heinrich to Kiawa Gamma. Shadow Quarters. That's with Argento. Reclaim Dargonus, reclaim Kiawa Gamma. Due to disease, everything points to football. Space Marines in Coronas. Let's go to Furibundus. Wanna see if that area open with disease? Wait, can I mine now? I also need to buy the extracticals.
Follow my lead. I believe I'm here again. Opticon 22. Show the data slate. We collected planetary data that may interest you. How come it's so freaking expensive? And melter charge is so cheap. What if I want to sell, let's say, but first I need what I want to sell. I need to check. What is this? It doesn't... Oh my god. How can I tell? Imagine sorting all of this out. What's this? It doesn't even say what it is. How do you pack this to carry? Drukari Clave is 20 PF, man. Let's see what we gain when we wanna sell. Accepting any samples of sacred technology, samples of profane xenotech and miscellaneous items. Technology xenotech miscellaneous. Xena, 200 RP, 120, 100 RP Meliwe. elements.
arjen kuipaa. But it seems like you can only tell once it's full. How do you sell? I never sold a single thing. How the fuck do you sell? Deal. Two hundred. And that's it. And now I got 200 RP. When? Where can I see the amount of RP? I can only see PF. I can't see RP. And this is what now? Does it raise? Yeah, slightly. Here's what I'm gonna get. If I can even get it. up something new. Uh, where do I see RP? Now I don't know how much I got. Should have around 3000 and something. But it doesn't show. See if that diseased sector is open. That should be next. It's about time. There was another trader here, it's not only this optical. Victory awaits. No, we're gonna go to the palace first. See if anything changed. Weakness. 
first ships from Yenus have already arrived. The station is no longer facing famine. Glad I found such a generous and reliable patron. Let's get down to business then. One. Nothing. We need this freaking RP and I can't tell how much I got. <laughs> reputation points. Okay, that's reputation points. And it goes like this, okay? 10,000. On a 10,000, he opens it up. And then you only spend 30. Profit, factor to buy, but basically, to buy better gear, this is what you need. Tears for reputation, and they unlock new stuff. You only buy with profit factor. RP is reputation points. You get reputation points by doing events, by upgrading colonies, and by selling gear. Now I doubt it's gonna be only this four. For the final release, there's probably gonna be 50 of them. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Rusians, Explorators, Kazbali Commission, and Fellowship of the Queen. But if you want better weapons, that's the only way. But why is this so bloody expensive with this mobile extract? How on fucking earth is this 10 now? It was 0 0.1, man. Now multi key is 0 0.1. I need this stupid extracticums. They're in freaking normal how expensive it is. I can only buy 4. And now I got 6 out of 46. I recover 0 0.1. Profit factor per cycle. This is way too freaking expensive, like it's a fucking bug. I know it was cheap. What on earth? the charge is 0 0.1 why like it goes randomly you don't wanna spend on mobile extracticum that much when you can buy shit for 0 0.1 like for example you, you easily can go up to max it's only 1 p yeah? look at a sniper rifle Medkits. 
I need to figure out what to do, I don't know. <clears throat> Let me see... If that plague district is open, I came for that. Basically, that's why I came here on this map. Not to trade. Victory away. Paying 10 profit factor for one extracting room is just way too fucking much. It's about time. Shadow quarters. See if we can pass. Is Elden Ring Gotti for me? That video is coming up tomorrow. At 6 p.m. I already made a video. Uploaded it. Tomorrow, I'll release top 10 list. None shall stand in my way. Pass, finally. So the quarantine zone is safe now. The defense. We can finally go. Believe it or not. We're in. You are in the presence of House Orcelia. The road I won't tolerate weakness. Bugged. There you are. It's about time. Yeah, you are. Ready for daisy and earth. Victory awaits. Stand in my way. Cast your eye there. A new challenge for me? Get lost or get shot. to go up. Basically, I can go up whenever I want to now. It's about time. They 
say a little bit of humility never hurt I'm better anyone. myself I help my others service. better themselves by the mutant slayer. Humiliating them at every step. I won't tolerate weakness. Claim to the stars. Explain this one. Follow my lead. Shall stand in my way. Fine entrance that cave. Did you hope to see an Azariani fail? Jesus Christ. She fails with a melta charge on. I won't say a word about top 10, you can watch tomorrow. And it's a very short video, I think it's 5 minutes long. I did it fast, I did a ton of editing. You can expect it tomorrow at 6. Come on! Final stretch seeker, remember the second word designs, remember the place cogitator, statue of the founder, small temple. It's about time. 
they know the place. I got someone wearing a Sheka, I don't know where. Birds. I'll lay claim to the stars. Put it with this. Try to move the metal shit out of the way. Very heavy. Moving it seems impossible. Open up. Look, man. What ails you? Watching your back. All wet. I fear to speak. Elon Does something trouble you, Lord Captain? The Emperor sets my path. What is it? Do you require to state your I'm restless? We must act. You interrupted my thoughts. Motherfucker AOE poison for three rounds. Get me a target. Mm. 
naturally. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. It's nothing! The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! I need targets, not guidance. Stack this poison, by the way. Without deeds is worthless. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Done. Suits my purposes. the designated position. 
don't want to waste frags. If I must. If it serves your cause. This tedium is beneath me. I'm mad with this toxic bombs. The Emperor is on our side. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. Why do you shoot there? I told you to shoot over there. What the fuck? I am his will made manifest. Fucking crazy. As the Emperor commands, I act. I need targets, not guidance. Faith without deeds is worthless. Great, fuckers also explode in poison when they die. That's epic. As the Emperor commands, I act. your cause. I deal death with my hands. <clears throat> Vengeance will be swift. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Naturally. For the throne's glory. 
But of course, Lord Captain. Isn't this a job for the serfs? The scriptural prognosis is... I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. That's gonna be the last thing that I'll do for today. I'm very tired. Well, I woke up 18 hours ago. Nearly 1 a.m. I woke up nearly 19 hours ago. I'm gonna live in like this. Guys, thanks for watching. I wish you all good night. Tomorrow stream starts in around 12 to 15 hours from now. And you can expect top 10 games of 2022 video on my YouTube channel around 6 p.m. All in all, that's it for tonight, people. See you back soon. Thanks for watching.